This is the voice of Merlin. Listen well for the concerns you. This chronicle commences in the year 2084 AD. Mankind has virtually destroyed itself. His survival depends on the final experiment. Scientists from 21st century have developed a new computer program called Time Telepathy. And by using this technique, they have sent visions of humanity's decline back in time. These transmissions have been received by the mind of a blind menstrual who lives in 16th century Britain, and his name is Zarian. Hello Aeronauts, I am Temple and today I will tell a legendary history. I ask your full attention uh, to you understand the beginning of everything and don't forget to ask the knight to always hand uh, over the scrolls on my news and follow me on the web of lies. Once upon a time there was a man named Arion. He was a blind minstrel who lived in the 16th century Britain. Someone peaceful from a time so far away where the most advanced things were swords, arrows and witchcraft. One day, Arion begins to receive these visions as a kind of a dream. He did not know what he saw or he was able to imagine it, since he was blind. Days passed and this message becomes songs, the only way to express what was going on his mind. Gradually, he begins to realize that this may be something of the future. But he was confused by not knowing why he was chosen, if he had uh, any gifts or was a type of god. Arian starts talking to people in his village and they are also confused. These people saw his frustrations and internal problems, but he could not explain, he could not say what he saw. His limitations were a torment. And in that moment, the line between illusion and reality has disappeared and falling to communicate properly the sad part of the history begins after singing things that no one could imagine it unfortunately it ended up disturbing the people of the city who expelled him from the city they accused him of saying profane things things of the devil and saw something different in his eyes the things he said sang his way was causing people fear and that was in their prophecy with sticks and rocks in his hands Arion is removed from the village and forced to wander alone even though he is weak he remains firm because he understand that there's something inside him far beyond comprehension since he was the chosen one that needs to be heard. 10. Your destiny guides to Camelot, to King Arthur's castle. Crossing forests and valleys, Arion finally arrives the glorious castle. It's received with festivity, banquets and music. Everyone wants to hear it, everyone wants to know what he has to say, has rumors that he could see the future spread quickly. The king wants to know about his destiny and that leaves Arion happy and confident to spread the message uh, he saw in his mind. Arion starts to be part of some decisions in the castle, then he sings about the knights of the round table and their trip to Avalon in search of the holy grail, and he is heard it now, with seriousness and wisdom. Days and nights pass and Arion's perception of life begins to change. He has refle reflective moments about what he sees and how he sees it how he feels things and how he can compare what was going on around him and with the things he saw in his mind from the future. And of course, how he wanted to be a normal man and not have that storm in his mind. But he ends up accepting his missions and sings about the three main causes of the eventual destruction of the earth. The first, a distant future in which technology triumphs over everything and how computers control everything. Man is replaced by machines. There are no kings or queens, but a chip in charge, a planet disappearing, the end of human race, the kingdom of the computer. The second, about wars and how useless they are, the annihilation of everything with just one button that man himself will create, a path to ruin, the perception of time begin diminished and a conflict with freedom. And the third, where he warns about nature, the contamination of water, the trees that will fall and the 
fight storms that will make the sky furious. Warnings that we still hear today and we always will hear. And once again, your perception starts to change. He views his visions as commandments of the Time Lords, something that is beyond his control, that people may not be taken as serious as they should. He feels underestimated and feels that everything needs to be done as he says. But there is someone who has not yet appeared in the history and who is part of King Arthur's castle, the wizard Merlin. He was in the shadows listening to Arion and her boring envy that everyone was paying attention to him. However, Merlin still has his fame and accuses Arion of desecrating lies and that he should end. They argue, Arion is questioned and makes him think about what he sees and whether he really understands something as complex as he says. With this confrontation, Arion begins to believe that these visions were not given to him alone. The time telepathy experience reached others and he received it because he would uh, have a sixth sense more developer for being blind. This leaving him desolated, sad, and once again faces his life as before, someone unprepossible, and ends up surrendering himself to Merlin so that he can make the final charm, accepting your end, as Merlin said. Merlin grants one last request, a last moment of serenity with flashes of his past life that happened before Arion's eyes. A moment of revelation. With the visions of his last request, Arion gathers the strength to try to convince Merlin to let him live, but Merlin denies his request. An attempt to cast in a spell on Arion, and that's the end of it. In a few moments, Merlin received a vision in which Arion's word was true. Unhappy, he does not want to go to the afterlife as a Marty of humanity. So he's decided that Arion's word will be released in 20th century so that it's not too late and that they understand that premonitions. So he writes the history and an account for everyone just like I did it in in the beginning. And that is the history of the final experiment. We can clearly see the path of the history and how our hero grew and died. A simple history, but no one that can tell uh, in detail the beginnings of something that no one uh, could imagine it that would be would become so big. And many who will meet Arion uh, hear this album for the first time, many find the sound a little old, but this is what you uh, need to understand about this project. Each album tells a history of a time, so the songs need to sound specifically like the time uh, that is told. The voices, the words, the, the effects, the instruments and everything. At the beginning uh, of the final experiment, the voice uh, that tells the history reflects something uh, old and, and the same about technology, it's something that transcends time itself. Then the music starts and you hear flutes, cellos, trumpets, harps and drums uh, which, to help, uh, which help to imagine the environment and uh, of the time. And of course we have guitars, but it's part of the mix, but the idea is that you feel the experience. The interesting things is that there are several concepts that appear in the final experiment uh, and they are directly released to other albums and songs by area. And I believe that is not thought uh, of in such a long term, but the excellent uh, structure of the compositions allow the universe to be expanded and become really interesting. And there are another uh, uh, interesting things in this album that singers is not uh, specific characters. Everyone sings the songs, including Mr. L. We could imagine, as we see in the following albums, that Arion would be a singer, uh, uh, King Arthur would be another singer, Wizard Merlin would be another singer, and etc. But no each singer sings one or two or three songs. Well, that is no reason for it to be a bad album. Uh, 
it's a very very good album so good that it also has a remastered version with bonus song and acoustic versions and i think it, it's incredible and about the singers in this album are incredible singers i will write on description of this this video because i can't say it's very hard the pronunciation i I can't say. <laughs> also of who are playing the instrumental part. Well, I recommend seeing the lyrics while you are listening to immerse yourself in the universe where it all started. Uh, all of this will be connected later and we still don't have an end. So tell me what you think about from this, this history. Uh, Arian thinking about 204 scientists uh, was a great tip for having a lot of time to plan and realize music. Well, well, I hope to see you in the next video for another history from an album. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and follow me on the social media on the web of life, of lies, of lies. I am Temple, and bye. Okay, let me try. Uh, okay, about the voices. Edward Rickers, Lenny Wolf, John Chris the Coiger, Robert Soterboek, Ian Perry, Barry Hay, J. Van Fedgelen, Leon, 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 go, 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 we. Who the hall. How willing Lucy Healing, Debbie is Schroeder, Mugen, Van Dur, and of course, Mr. L. Okay, uh, in the instrumental part, we have a uh, clean, clean, clean. The ah, oh, <laughs> muito difícil, cara. Não consigo. Rini Merkinbar, nossa, não tem, é impossível falar. Oh, because it's keyboards. Rini, ah, oh, two and the keyboards and the. Uh, there's a lot of people that the second name, second name is Van. Van. Okay. I can't say it. Dev, Dewey, Kosten, Mar Merrick, Van der Heiden, uh, Yolanda. It's J, so it's I. Yolanda Virgil. Okay. Sorry.